hey guys how are you guys doing i'm just reading through some emails and i want to do this video blog anyway <clears throat> um actually as i was saying before about the uh let's continue what i was saying about the de-dollarization that's actually going on just want to brief you guys on something uh starting today on the world market the yuan which is the chinese currency basically have taken over that taken over the dollar so it have done more business in yuan on the global scale than in U.S. currency. All right. And as I was saying before, folks, that is not good. There is a shift happening from the U.S. currency to currency like the yuan and also the ruble. Basically, what's really happening is the BRICS are getting ready to build. They actually have their currency in place. They're getting ready to start distributing this currency it's a currency that will compete against the dollar so uh, countries like russia china india brazil for them to purchase on the global market they would have to first get the BRICS currency which is about to be released on the market so at this point what they're doing a lot of the trades are now taking place a lot of the purchasing oil are now being are now taking place in yuan, Chinese currency. So what I've learned today is that most of the international business was taking place in yuan. Now, keep in mind, the U.S. currency still registered as the global currency. It's registered, meaning on paper. It is not the global, no longer the global currency. But on paper, it is still registered as the global currency but that's not what what is really going on folks the de-dollarization is real it's happening um what what this will do basically is that it will cost things to get even more expensive see what happened in venezuela one of the best countries i can bring to mind is countries like venezuela pretty much the same thing will happen here actually it's already happening all right so don't be surprised um cost of living is going to get extremely expensive even more expensive than what it is now and um food necessity now also by killing the dollar the fed is also coming out with the new digital currency that's they they're getting ready to release actually they release it on monday it's called fed now all right now, this is a digital currency. So, guys, what's happening? They're making a shift from paper currency to digital currency. Keep in mind, Schwab did say at one of the last, not the, 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 the last one, but the one before last in Dubai, the World Economic Forum, he did say at one of those summit, the, the main purpose now is to kill the, uh, the current monetary system. They said their main goal is to destroy the current monetary system and bring in a new form of a system. Now, at that point when he said that, which was like around two years ago, the current global monetary system is the U.S. dollar. They didn't come out and plainly say U.S. dollar. They said the current global monetary system, which is taking place in U.S. currency. All right? Now, I've been saying this for a long time, guys. Guys who have been following on my uh, social media page, they can tell you. I've been screaming this on top of the mountain. I've been called all sort of names. It's okay. It's okay. Crazy, nut job, you name it. I've been called all the names in the world. But as I said, a lot of... I've been getting a lot of messages here from, from YouTube. I do appreciate it. You can also follow me on uh, my social media page, all of them. It's very easy to find me, guys. On It's all the same on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I put a lot of the videos on it. Um, my username, I'll type it in. All you got to do, go to any one of my platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Just type in my username, M-I-X-M-A-S-T-E-R-X-L. I will spell that. Again. I'll spell that again. M-I-X-M-A-S-T-E-R-X-L. 
and you'll find me, okay? Now, um, yeah. So, guys, keep in mind, guys, um, as I was saying before, the brick was created by Goldman Sachs. They're behind everything. Goldman Sachs is also how connect, is connected to the U.S. Treasury. So, it, it, everything, guys, is all connected. You know, I know there's conflict between different countries right now, and you're, you're wondering what's going on. But at the end of the day, guys, it's the same person behind playing the game for everything they're playing the game on everybody basically but the the majority they don't know this so when you try to like bring it to people they look at you with that you know that stink eye and so forth but it, it's okay it's it's part of it you know when you're when you're at a point in your life when you become so aware of things and know what's going on and you no longer uh, confide in in society society way of thinking or their norm you're just looked upon as a crazy person. But it's not crazy, guys. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's, it's real. The de-dollarization is happening. A lot of people are going to lose everything. The more exposure you are to debt is the more you're not going to be able to weather the storm. It is what it is. One of the best way to counteract the de-dollarization, which is going to be hyperinflation, is to buy precious metals. If you have extra cash, you keep your cash around to pay your bills. But if you have extra cash... I would want to be exposed to the bank with it. You could buy gold bars. One of the best things to buy is gold bars and silver bars, okay? And copper. Don't be afraid to, to buy copper, but gold and silver is where you want to keep most of your focus on. A lot of my focus is on silver, but there's nothing wrong with buying gold bars. One of the best websites you can go to is amex.com, A-P-M-E-X.com, okay? So have a wonderful day. I will keep giving you guys uh, updates and let you know what's going on and keep briefing you guys, keep briefing you guys and making you guys aware. All right, Charlie.